How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy123 here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to easily and securely wipe and reset a Windows laptop or desktop if you're thinking of selling it, giving it away, or throwing it out. The method I'm going to show you in this video will securely wipe your computer so that it will be almost impossible for anyone to recover any files using data recovery software. So before you begin, make sure that you have a backup of any important data as it will be wiped off the PC with no chance of getting it back. On this computer, I have files on my desktop and in other users folders like downloads, documents, and pictures. I also have files located in the root directory of my C drive and a secondary hard drive which also has a bunch of files stored on it. This method of resetting your PC is going to remove my personal files from both of these drives. To begin, open up Windows' settings. On Windows 11, click System on the left hand side of your screen. Now scroll down to Recovery. Then click the Reset PC button under Recovery Options. On Windows 10, the Reset PC option is located in Update and Security. Once in Update and Security, click the Recovery tab on the left hand side of the screen. Then click Get Started under Reset This PC. A Reset PC window will open up and it will first ask you whether you want to keep your files or remove everything. Choose Remove Everything. After that, you'll be asked if you want to reinstall Windows using files that are currently on your computer or if you want to do a cloud download and reinstall Windows with files downloaded from the internet. I would recommend doing a cloud download as it will install an up-to-date version of Windows and that's the option I'm going to choose in this tutorial. But you can choose to do a local reinstall if you have slow internet or want the whole reset process to be a little bit faster. Next, there are some additional settings we're going to need to change in order to securely wipe our PC and erase our second hard drive. So click the Change Settings button, and here choose Yes under Clean Data in order to make it harder for anyone using data recovery software to recover any files from the drive. If you have additional drives connected to your computer and you'd like to erase those as well, check Yes under Delete Files from All Drives. Otherwise, only the drive that contains Windows will be wiped. Once you've changed these settings, click Confirm. Click the Next button, and your computer will prepare to reset. Finally, click Reset to begin the reset process. Since I chose Cloud Download, our PC will begin to download Windows for the reinstall. This can take some time depending on the speed of your internet. Once Windows is done downloading, your PC will restart by itself and begin to reset. Since we selected to clean the drive earlier, the reset process is going to take a very long time. The amount of time the reset process will take will depend on if you're wiping an SSD or hard drive, as well as if you're wiping more than one drive. In my case, the reset process took a little over 2 hours. The clean data option that we selected earlier will overwrite these sectors of a hard drive, or blocks on an SSD where your files are stored with random data, making it significantly harder for data recovery tools to retrieve the deleted files. Once your computer is done resetting, Windows will begin to reinstall on its own. When Windows is done installing, you'll be brought to the setup screen. If you are selling this computer, you could just shut it down at this point and leave it at this screen for the new user to set it up on their own. However, it's not a bad idea to go through the setup process in order to verify that Windows has been reset and all of your programs and files have been erased. When setting up the computer, it's a good idea to set up a local user account and not sign in with a Microsoft account so no personal accounts or information are stored on the computer. I also recommend not connecting the computer to Wi-Fi so no passwords are stored also. On Windows 11, this can be a little tricky as Microsoft doesn't easily allow you to make a local user account during the setup or complete the setup without internet, but there is a way we can bypass these restrictions. Press Shift and F10 on your keyboard to open a command prompt window. 
click inside the window so that you can type inside of it and enter the following command oobe backslash bypass nro press enter and your pc will restart and boot back into the setup this time around however we'll be able to set up windows without an internet connection so when it asks you to connect to a network, choose I don't have internet. Then continue with a limited setup. Now just accept the license agreement and you'll be prompted to enter a username for your local account. Just give it something generic like user. When asked to give the local account a password, just leave the password field blank and click next so that the local user has no password and we won't need to enter one on login. Like usual, I'm going to disable all the things that Microsoft wants to track us with. Then Windows will start to prepare the system for our local user. And when it's done, we'll be brought to the desktop. We now have a fresh copy of Windows. You can see that I no longer have any files on my desktop. And the same goes for my user folders like my downloads, documents, pictures, and videos. Additionally, any folders and files that I had placed on the root directory of my C drive are now gone, and only the Windows system folders remain. And finally, you can see that my secondary hard drive, which is my D drive, is completely empty. I tested a handful of free data recovery softwares such as Recuva, Distrill, and EasyOS data recovery, and none of them were able to recover any files from the previous Windows install. Anything it found were just junk files from the Windows setup. I then tried reinstalling Windows with a bootable Windows install USB to see if I could recover any files when just formatting the drives during the install. Once Windows was finished installing, I ran the data recovery scans, and this time they were able to find some files from the previous Windows install. This is because when formatting a hard drive or SSD, the data is not actually erased from the drive. Instead, it remains on the drive until it's overridden by new data. In the case of an SSD, the data will stay on the drive until the OS runs a trim command to inform the drive that certain blocks are no longer in use and can be erased. However, when resetting the PC from within Windows and selecting the clean data option during the reset process, like I showed in this video, all of the data on the drives is overridden with random or junk data, making any previously stored data unrecoverable. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.